Twitter brings out the worst in people, and this NHL season has been no different. NHL fans have come on the site, and they've been complaining about the on-ice officials, mainly the referees. I've seen comments about the linesmen, but more importantly, the referees. You guys say that blind people, actual blind people, can do a better job than the blind idiots that you think the referees are. You think that they need seeing eye dogs, or you think they need canes. And you think that you, the fans, can do a better job than what is currently on the ice. The people who are paid to do the job. You know what? Let me just say one thing. You guys are wrong. To an extent, but you guys are wrong. Yeah, sure, the bad calls are brought up on the TV broadcast by the play-by-play -play color guys. Teams of two or three, but it doesn't matter about them. The good calls are also brought up as well. There's a penalty, a legit penalty, the replay is shown, the play-by-play -play color guy watch the play, uh, replay, and they find out, yep, it's a good call. And they mention, good call by the referee. If it's a high stick that's a legit high stick, they'll mention it. If there's a bad call, they'll mention it. If it's a non-call that should have been a call, yeah, they'll mention it, but you know what? It's a fast-paced game. Sometimes you miss out on calls, but it doesn't matter. They probably, refs and linesmen probably kicked themselves afterwards. The supervisors comment on this afterwards probably to them. They suck it up. They move on to the next city. And if you do a really good job, they move on to the next round. You know what? I don't mind about that. It's you guys, by the way, that, that need to knock it off. And I'll tell you why you need to knock it off. Because you guys think that you're armchair officials, okay? You watch the games. You think you can do a better job. I've already mentioned this. But if but if you don't have the experience out on the ice, if you haven't taken a look at any of the rule books, if you haven't taken a good look at I don't want to say this. If, unless you have the experience, okay, to do this job, I suggest you shut up. You can make little comments about the calls that are made after the replay, but until you see the replay, shut up. Goal reviews are my worst enemy on Twitter. Because you guys automatically assume right after they make the announcement, good goal, no goal, that the refs are to blame for there being a no goal. And that's where I say you're wrong. If the puck was bad with a high stick and they mention it, puck was bad with a high stick, no goal. If you are a fan of the team that thought that th that scored but didn't score, you guys are going to hate the refs. You shouldn't hate the refs. Sometimes you should, but you shouldn't. Don't boo the ref. Boo the fact that your guy screwed up. But you know what? If you're going to say that you're done watching the NHL because of a bunch of guys in black and white and some of them wearing orange, then you're not worth the waste. Get out of here. I may have sounded stupid with this, but you know what? It's the truth. If you guys claim you're not going to watch another NHL game for the rest of your lives because of a bunch of guys who you've never seen before, who you claim screw your team every night, 
and by the way, I've seen 30 franchise, 30 fans of fran, uh, 30 different sets of fans. Okay, let's just put it this way. I try to say it like three times and it work, but 30 sets of fans, fans of every team on Twitter saying they screw our team. They don't screw their team. Get lost because they don't screw your team. Especially in the playoffs. Because it's probably your players that are to blame. I'm not a referee or linesman. I'm not an armchair official. But I know when there's the right thing and the wrong thing. I'm not going to come across and say, you know what, these guys are to blame because they're not to blame. I've made it known all over social media, on Tumblr, on Twitter. And you know what? I've yet to see someone disagree with me. So if you disagree with me or you agree with me, just make it known in the comments, okay? And I will take it up with you. Some of the calls are legit. Some of them aren't legit, okay? They make mistakes. It's a fast-paced game. The end. But like I said, you agree with me, you disagree with me, put it in the comments. Other than that, I've got nothing else to say.